Hi YouTube, welcome to the vlog. Today we're supposed to be in unboxing. Been doing some extra rings for my pin. But the unboxing thing got delayed. So today I am going to give y'all a better view of the Chromatopelma Sunio Pubenzens, the green bottle blue. And I've got an issue. I just seen a video that the, uh, the Dark Den has put out about mold. These little white dots. I guess he don't know what it is. And I don't really know what it is either, but it is in some of my enclosures. Unfortunately, it is in the Aponopelma Simani Christy Hurt. And she is gravid now because I did the video. Well, I didn't get a, I did a couple videos on her about the breeding attempts, but she did finally get bred. So we're going to transfer her to a new enclosure. And I'm trying to get rid of this mold. And I don't understand what is going on. I have isopods and I have roly polies and I have um, springtails in here. But I want to give you guys a good oh, view yes. about what's going on. Hold on. Tennessee tarantula. You guys need to pause this video. Go subscribe. Hit his notification. And you can put a link to his channel in there. And do all that. Put a link in the description for him. Because Tennessee tarantula is this cool. And uh, look at this. This, nice. thing's, this thing's working out perfect, people. This is the... Uh, Hot mouth copperhead hybrid. Let's get him up to 500 subscribers. Well, I think small. 50,000. Come on, people. 5,000, 10,000. Well, he's only at 100. That's right. unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Show some love, people. Everybody in the spider com uh, community and reptiles and everything needs to stick together. I said it once before in my videos if everybody subscribes to everybody, it's our way of supporting each other to the maximum and that's what we need to do because without each other we can't look at each other like one's rival or as a lesser collector if you got one spider one snake or one frog you need to subscribe to the other channels because everybody's lives matter all right enough of that look here's the mold here's the little dots you see this and I guess the Dark Den's in Russia. I'm guessing. I don't know. He sounds Russian. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure. But he has the same stuff that I got right here, and I don't like it at all. So, Christy Hurt is getting transferred into a smaller enclosure. Ooh. I need more room on here, please. Move all everything. I have no room, and I about dropped the whole camera again. Sorry about one of our videos, it ended abruptly uh, during the transferring of the Gramostola Poultra because the camera kept falling because I have no room. I'm going to try to avoid that this time. I'm going to try to get y'all a good view. This, I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to do some working on it. Oh, there it is. This thing came loose. Alright, there we go. Alright, people. Watch. This is Christy Hurt. I'm going to pick this up a little bit. I'm going to pick this bowl up because she's underneath there. Look underneath. Look at that, people. Look at the mold in the shape of the bowl. This is ridiculous. I don't understand what's going on. Um, if anybody knows what that type of mold is, let me know. We cannot have that. It's unacceptable. I mean, this can't be healthy for the tarantula. Um, I need my little barbecue thing. We're gonna try to get her in here without no trouble. Easy baby, easy darling, easy. I want her to just walk over the side and go in here and then go in this hiding, if I can. With no trouble, no trauma or drama. Come on, I'm gonna help with my hand too because I don't think she's in bite mode. She's grab it, she's very tight. Whoops, whoops, oh no. I don't want to transfer the mold to the other container either. Come on, baby. This species can be aggressive somewhat. She don't know what I'm trying to do, that's the problem. 
she's in a threat posture and she's on land. No, she's not now. Oh. Oh, look at this. She went under the water, people. She's under the water. And I see. It's also unacceptable. She's trying to hide in the water bowl. This is the first time ever on YouTube, just so y'all know. Look at this. Trying to look completely submerged in the water with a bubble around her. Y'all see this? And a tarantula is one of the only animals I know that can go in the water, get wet, and come out dry on the other side. Well, a duck sometimes. All right. Um, I'm going to get her out of here, though, because I don't like that. It is not proper tarantula behavior. It's not how we do things around here, girl. There you go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to see. And then this is your new HUD, so just go in your HUD. Yep, there you go. All right, that was a successful tarantula transfer. Y'all leave in the comments below what you think about the tarantula diving into her water bowl and coming out on the other side dry. First time ever, only on Edward Tindall YouTube. I don't think anybody, even the really, really big timers, have captured anything like that, unless it was, was a, here he is. Uh, well, I don't know how to say the name. It's a gigas. A stereocrates gigas or some crates gigas. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I don't have that spider in my collection and having to remember the scientific names of over a thousand species just off of memory alone is uh, difficult. So uh, I'm going to transfer her sticker. Y'all wish me luck on Christy Hurt. I put her moldy container down with the other moldy containers. And up the isopods and everything and hopefully I will have cultures of those big time if anybody knows about that mold I don't know I guess I can do the research on my own self and find out and then better inform you guys on another video I don't know we're going to try to get you some green bottle blue uh, in here because I got a comment that I did not capture the green bottle blue at all for you guys to see and that's not fair to anyone so I apologize for that but if I can get this critter keeper open there it is I'm gonna do my best okay this is the female this is the male female male We're going to show the male first. I'm going to destroy some of his web a little bit. It don't really matter. Now you can get a view from the side. You know, I didn't get to see the view from the side last time. This is not a trench to let you handle. I mean, I'm not scared to handle it, but I don't handle it because it don't like to be handled. See if I can get it to come out a little bit. Whoa. That's good, right there. The male green bottle blue. I hope y'all can see that very clearly. It was Lisa, right? Tom Manning? Yeah. Tom Manning? Lisa Manning. Huh? Lisa Manning? Tom Manning? Yep, there you go. Uh, that is the male green bottle blue. I hope you get a good view of that. Do you have a tweezers? I think I see a molt down here. I might see what's left of a molt down here. They eat their molts, as you can see. Sometimes, but it's okay because I already successfully fixed that and there's no problem in there. Okay, there's the male, green, white, or blue. You got a timer? Yeah. Scar took an epic crap, by the way, after the rabbit. And a little bit of pee to clean this side. I gotta clean this side here. Get that off camera, I'm not done yet. Um, and uh, had to be very cautious with him. He's dangerous. If he is handled or messed with or caught off guard, he gets a, he's got a very strong feeding response. And being mistreated in his previous home has made him 
more aggressive than a wild specimen. Okay, we're going to try to get the female out a little bit. So you guys can see. And then we're going to cut the timer right there. Whoa. Don't want her to run away. Don't run away, baby. Just come out a little bit. That's all you got to do. Oh, oh, oh. Stop right there. Don't move. Don't move. Everybody can see you fine right there. Don't move. Don't move, sweetheart. Oh, be still. Be still. And if y'all wonder why I'm talking to my spider, it's the, uh, it's the intention. My intention is very strong to make that spider be still. So if I speak aloud, it's not because I think that the spider will listen to me. It's the fact that I want something to happen so bad that it actually happens. All right, y'all see that extra large abdomen on there? I cannot see my camera yet. I haven't got a new one, but I'm working on it. Found an awesome one just like this for 80 bucks. It's got a tripod, it's got a camera uh, light and all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna try to zoom just a little bit so y'all can see this beautiful. Thing. I don't know that it's zooming or not though, so if it's not, I apologize. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and wish you all peace, love, and happiness and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, share my videos, and please, people, watch some of the older videos because they're awesome. Um, we're watching all kinds of older videos, or seeing a couple of my older videos that were awesome. Uh, some recommendations is how to cook a Pac-Man frog tendril style. Um, pranking my wife. That is absolutely hilarious. Because <laughs> um, I started YouTubing long before I did vlogs. Now I'm just... I started YouTubing because I want to... Um, want to document everything. It's awesome to have records and good in detail records. I don't watch my own videos very often, but I might go back on something. Y'all can see this is the underside of the female green bottle blue. She is absolutely beautiful. I highly recommend this species to anyone who wants an absolutely beautiful, amazing, awesome, awesome tarantula. They're not too extremely pricey when they're young. As adults, they're very expensive, in my own opinion. But, uh, yeah, this one would probably be about 200 bucks around that or more. Um, but I got it fairly cheap as a sling. And, uh, they don't die like people think they do. Because, it's because of the situation. They require 100% dry substrate, a little bushy area, and a water dish. They do not require wet substrate because that's what kills them. They can get their moisture from a water dish. People have the assumption that the spider is a moisture needing tarantula and that's not the case. They're a desert species. They're extremely, extremely dry. They can go long periods without water at all. Um, but I, uh, I always keep a water bowl in every one of my enclosures just to ensure that tarantula can get it. I like having options for my tarantulas. So you put a water bowl at uh, that is uh, basically a pond to the spider, and then you have all this land area, and then you have a little bush so they can do what they want to do, and they just have it as an option. I do that with every tarantula I got, no matter what the species, a water bowl and substrate. And if I have a species that I'm not sure of, I'll put a water bowl, dry substrate, and overflow the water bowl so half of the enclosure is moist or damp and the other half is dry so they also have an option and then I monitor the spider and watch does it hang out in the damp area all the time or the dry area and then after several weeks of observation I will meet the tarantula's needs because sometimes I have tarantulas that I acquire that I'm the only one who has that species of tarantula and I have to learn everything because there's nothing root on it one of those is the Aponopelma lanceolatum, which I have lost the male. I'm very, 
very upset about that. I'm going to show you all this female. This is the female, Colonopelma lanceolatum. She was gravid when I got her. She has molted and lost the mm -hmm. sperm that she had. That's the Colonopelma lanceolatum. As far as I know, I'm the only one in the United States that has one, and there's no more available. It's a gold tarantula, very aggressive as you see, um, for whatever reason. It's okay, baby, it's okay. But uh, this is a one of a kind right now, as of right now, and uh, that's a shame. I really want to breed this girl because if she dies, there's no more. If she dies, that's it. So if anybody happened to get an Apomonopelma lanceolatum before they destroyed their where their habitat was, and there's any available, and anybody has a mature male or has a male, get with me so we can make more of them. Because if not, there's going to be none in the hobby. There's no sense in the species not being in the hobby. This is a Nicaraguan. Um, yeah, a Nicaraguan Afonapelma, or Afonapelma, however you say it. Which every other Afonapelma that I know of comes from America. With the exception, we got a couple of Costa Rican like the Zebra Knee. But the majority of Afonapelmas are from America, as far as I know. From what research I've done. But uh, this girl's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to cut there, people. Edward and Sarah Tyndall out. Sarah's ensuring the future of the uh, tarantulas and slings by sorting through her millworms. And uh, that's it. Don't forget to uh, sub to uh, Tennessee Tarantulas. I would consider it a uh, personal favor. Y'all like Edward Tindall YouTube, personal favor. Check that out. And uh, we're out of here.